I played soccer in the top grammar uh, with, with internationals that are famous, you know, Khalid Ali, those kind of things. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, then I'll So those were my mates on the field, you know. And although the master kita at Kramat took the mind go uh, But uh, I, I remember that was what developed the skills of, 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 uh, of nations at the time. You, know, you had to play the ball, you had to control the ball. Padang pun high chaparral. Yeah, so those kind of things. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, coming to, to myself as a professional, um, I, I, I got my I got my early uh, corporate member quite early, actually. even when I was lecturing. I was lecturing for about I think, ten years. So, but the interesting thing was my interview. See? So I was <laughs> I was uh, I was considered uh, a failure because I was from the states. Ah, you know. So states, what do they know? You know. Completely not UK based town planning and garden city and things like that. I mean, we did learn that, but we were not um, uh, considered competent enough in terms of design. I told you, Master Dekat States, you know, Master Dekat, Master Dekat Columbus or Hill, Peter Quantitative. So I was always telling my staff, and then even I was like saying, you know, the design is the final part, the numbers come first. You crunch the numbers first and then you will know what units you will get and you know, what so it's quite difficult to change that mindset. Huh? So anyway that, that was the, 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 the part of my background you know, like, maybe that's why I'm a little bit weird as well huh, when, when I look at things. Uh, after after yeah okay after graduating actually with uh, the planning uh, profession I started uh, being a lecturer uh, at UM UUM for one year. So then uh, I was teaching comics, stranger, from planning to teach comics. So that was uh, my first job actually. And then after one year uh, in the UUM, because I was married and my wife was in ITM, uh, I joined ITM. So again, it's an academic field, but then, then I was teaching planning. So uh, that's when actually. Uh, uh, after graduating and being able to practice, but I was never one who likes to do one thing in life. You know? So I was very active with uh, sports. Uh, I was very active in research. Uh, I also joined uh, what is called uh, in, in Masatula Unit Pembangunan, eh? the, the UITM. So that's when uh, I, at the same time, I was doing my PhD. So yeah, I went to the construction and development of uh, branch campus, the main campus. Uh, that's when, uh, during that time, uh, the crossroads of my life, like you like, uh, I also applied to work with Renong. So I don't know whether these young people would know, <laughs> but Renong at that time was the GLC. Yeah, yeah, it was the company, it was the mother of privatization, if you like. The UE was under Renong and things like that. Retrain ourselves all the time. That, that's the concept behind CPD. It's, it wasn't to discriminate. It wasn't to um, make it into a special group. It was for all professions, you know. So we made it easy. It wasn't that heavy kind of thing, you know? So uh, I serve under Lisa. I serve under uh, Doctor Alias, and uh, uh, Kak Yung was the one who brought me. That I have to say, she was the one who said to me, "Come, get into the council," you know. So I said, oh, mana lah kita masa tu kan, right? we are not, you know, experienced. And that time, we had the giants of the planning profession around. We have Datuk Zai, you know, uh, uh, all these people were like, we, we felt like so small. So when, when, when um, being a member for so long, uh, after some time, and then I was sitting maybe my mid 50s like or early 50s i think that was the first time i uh, went for the presidency so when i went for the presidency um, initially it was supposed to be a no contest like, but last minute there was a contest so i lost that election the contest so i lost that election the first one how many votes by one stop right there every vote counts why <laughs> oh my god yeah by one vote by one vote i think that was the most democratic uh, election ever, you know? 
but it was it was interesting because um, I thought you know when they asked me to give kind of a speech before the election, I I thought I gave a very um, significant speech lah that that would somehow seal my win because I told them actually the best president or the, the is is a person who doesn't want it actually, you know because because then he, they are not pressured under any groups or things like that and 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 uh, I remember my father used to say to me you know when your time to come when the time has come for you to 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 lead or to be a leader those around you will recognize it.